Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you a demo of a chatbot that I built using the Dialogflow Messenger integration. Now, I want to be clear that I'm talking about this integration which was released recently and you can see that it's still in, in beta. It is different from the Facebook Messenger integration. So, this is a different uh, integration that Dialogflow has created called Dialogflow Messenger. And uh, this allows you to add a website chatbot, uh, rather a chatbot to your website, which supports things like images and clickable links and things like that. So I have created a page on my site where you can go and take a look. There is a demo of this bot. It's actually at the URL here and I'll actually leave a link to the URL below the video. So I'm going to refresh the page and restart the demo. So the first thing that you notice is that it initiates the conversation on its end, which is something like a feature which a lot of people are requesting in the Dialogflow website chatbot. So you can see that that's already possible. So let me click on that. And you can see that as soon as I open it, you even see that there are actually two messages coming from the bot before the user has typed anything. In other words, it is also capable of sending multiple messages per response, which is also a feature that a lot of people have been requesting. So the way that uh, I have built it is more, mostly based on the tutorial that they already have on their site, except that I'm just going to show you that in action. So the first thing that I want to do is show you this uh, response type called description. So it's going to be show me description. And you can see that it has a title and then you can have multiple lines of text. And after that, you have something called an info type. So let's go ahead and check that out. Show me info. And you notice that it has this image. It supports adding this image on the side. And then there's a title and there's also a subtitle. It's a clickable, uh, you know, it's a clickable card. So it actually goes to, and I made it go to google.com. So that's the other type of research response that is supported by the Dialogflow Messenger integration. And the next thing that you're going to see is the image. So let's try that. Show me image. And one of the things that you have to remember with the image type is that it actually fills out the entire width of the chat widget. So with images which are smaller than your chat widget uh, width, will actually look a bit distorted. And the ones which are larger will get compressed down to the size and usually they look okay. And then after that, there's the button. So let's take a look at that. Show me button. And you can see that you have this icon and then you have some text. And you also see that the whole thing is clickable once again. So if I click on that, I've also made that go to google.com. So that's the other response, rich response type. And then you have suggestion chips. And so let me make sure that I get the right words. Show me suggestion chips. And in the case of suggestion chips, the nice thing is that uh, they actually look like buttons and they you can interact with them as if they were buttons. So if I were to just say yes, now one thing you have to understand is that obviously I haven't handled saying this message yes in my text in my chatbot. So it's going to say, can you say that again? But that's to be expected. And the next thing that I want to show you is the list response type. And here I have to say, show me list. And notice that you have like multiple items in the list. And if I were to click on one of these items, it will come back with some response. And to see why it came back with this particular response, you can go ahead and leave, uh, look at the tutorial. So the other thing is the accordion type. And this is an interesting one. And I'll show you why exactly. Show me accordion. And first of all, it has this collapsible uh, view, but once you open it, notice that it actually supports HTML. Like you can have an image, you can have hyperlink, bold face text, and italics, and all that. 
uh, I think it supports most of the markdown commands. So that's the dialog flow messenger integration. You can see that they have added all these rich response types. And there are also some other very nice features which it has, which allows you to do a little bit of customization. You can customize the look and feel of the chat widget and change the color and things like that. This is also something that a lot of people have been requesting. So I have created a tutorial on how to create this particular bot on my site and I leave a link to the tutorial under this video.